Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Charles with the Thursday edition of Charles Snyder Raw. It's unscripted, unscheduled, unplanned, unfiltered versions of whatever I'm thinking about in business today. How I'm dealing with issues, problems that come up, how I'm working around things or how solutions that I'm finding or just pretty much whatever is on my mind. And it's usually dealing with somehow with marketing and or business. Um, so what's up today? Today's kind of a, well, this whole week's been kind of screwy. Uh, my schedule got messed up. Uh, Monday was behind the eight ball Tuesday. Uh, some of the conference calls got canceled, but I was still going back over some other stuff, doing some reading in that, um, I'm playing catch up from Monday. Yesterday, it was kind of on point, got things uh, back on schedule. And then now today, I'm just kind of back behind the eight ball again. It's late. Uh, been on conference calls all day that were uh, canceled from Tuesday, so they were rescheduled for today. Um, so probably the biggest thing on my mind right now is just basically training your brain. Even, even though I was... Uh, you know, those conference calls and stuff were canceled on Tuesday. I was still doing some reading. I was still doing some research and learning in that in amongst doing everything else as far as you know, launching a new campaign uh, on YouTube, which is doing fantastic so far. Uh, it's one of the best ones that we've run yet to date, uh, especially this year is just as, since the beginning of the year, this is by far the best one that we run so far. So, um, and it's just a simple like brand awareness uh, advertising that we did to just basically get our name out there a little bit more on a different channel, uh, the YouTube channel through you, YouTube. And, um, you know, we've been getting great response from it. Uh, yesterday, I think we topped out somewhere around like 58. 58, 60 people seen that ad, clicked through, and checked out uh, our website. It's not going to an offer or anything. We're not selling anything. It's just brand awareness, getting it out there so that people, hey, no, hey, we're here. So we're not like, you know, like I talked about the other day, we're not a uh, water stand out in the middle of the desert that no one knows about. People are starting to uh, see our advertisements, see our brand awareness. Um, marketing, and they're starting to take notice, which is a really great thing. <laughs> I'm I'm happy with it. But anyway, the main gist of today, I wanted to talk about training your brain. You know, um, I've stated it before. You know, I'm not a real big fan of the whole like college system, or even just like the educational system in general, which kind of crushes creativity and individuality and teaches you to punch a time clock and push a button on a machine, you know, work in a factory or something. So the education system leaves a lot to be desired, but that doesn't mean I'm not a big fan of learning new skills, learning uh, the requirements, you know, learning about stuff in business and that. I am a big fan of that because that applies. That is practical stuff that you need to know. Um, and that goes back to my firefighter days. I mean, pretty much uh, from, I'd say about five to six years in, I, I finally got to the point where I was just training every opportunity I could get and there was even some year, there was even a couple years in there where just about every week that year, I was in some kind of a class, whether it was just, you know, like uh, some kind of a seminar. Uh, there was a lot of like practical classes and stuff that I was taking. And I did that for, you know, a couple years. So, and even when I was just at the station taking it easy and that, I was sitting there practicing knots, you know, when everyone else was watching TV, when there was, you know, after we were done doing uh, station duties and stuff like that, we had some free time and a lot of, you know, some guys did some studying. Most of them were just kind of taking, a, you know, taking it easy. They'd sit and watch TV or, you know, stand around and, uh, you know, just shoot the shit like guys do, especially in a firehouse. And, uh, 
the whole time I was there, yeah, I participated in some of that. I'd sit there and watch some movies with the guys and stuff. But the whole time I'm sitting there, I was practicing doing my knots. Or I was sitting there, you know, doing some reading or something that applied to the job almost every single day. So that when it came time for promotions, I was at the top of the list because of all the training and stuff, because I was, you know, highly skilled and stuff. So I believe in training. I believe in practicing to improve and to learn new skills and stuff. I'm a big fan of that. I'm just not a big fan of the system that is in place for the vast majority of us to get ahead in life. But anyway, that's not what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk, you know, I wanted to talk about actually, you know, getting the practical stuff that actually applies. And that kind of leads into the next step is uh, I've already started working on the next webinar, which is going to be based on our uh, marketing readiness worksheet to you know better explain how to actually use that simple form it's just a one-page form and uh but there's a lot deeper meaning to it than a lot of people realize just like there's a lot more to online advertising uh digital marketing and stuff like that than people actually realize which kind of ties in with the conversation i had monday or tuesday with Jay and you know the problem that she was having with um, one of her customers is, and this and this is just the problem in a nutshell is people don't know what they don't know, so it falls on us as business owners, as uh, CEOs or CMOs, to educate people on what they don't know. For example. You know, some of the stuff that we were running into is that, you know, the people didn't realize that in order to properly gauge the success or lack thereof in a marketing campaign, you have to have certain tools in place before you even launch. But that was something that wasn't explained, which led to, you know, frustrations on the customer's part, which is understandable, but it behooves us to make sure that doesn't happen. You know, you have to set expectations and you have to, uh, you know, you're the expert. If someone comes to you for um, advice or expertise, it's up to you to make sure that you give them the proper information and stuff. So I'm going to leave you with that. I don't want to draw that out too long. And I, you know, I've already, you know, had my rant about the college, college education and uh, the ridiculous liberal arts degrees and stuff like that. So I'm not going into all that crap again, but I got a lot of work to do. And, uh, but hopefully this weekend we'll um, see us, you know, I'm going to develop the script and hopefully get through and um, develop the presentation. I don't know if I'll get to the whole uh, recording of the thing, but I want to get a lot of that prep work done so that when we uh, can get to the point where we're recording, you know, we get it up without too many more delays. So look forward to that. So pending any other further uh, delays or me getting deployed, I should be able to get a lot of that done this weekend uh, since we're pretty well caught up with just about everything else. So look forward to that. We'll see you again tomorrow. And uh, in the meantime, have a great day. Love, peace, and chicken grease.